right. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, we give him praise and thanks for his mercy and his goodness to the human family. If all the trees upon the earth were pens to write with, and if all the oceans were ink, and then another seven oceans add to its supply, the writing would still not be enough to explain the glory of God, for he's the exalted, all powerful, all wise. We confide in no other in our time of need, and we praise no other in our good fortune. He is one. So this is uh, Brother Sharif with the Hour of Power. Go to Hour of Power, Sharif Hamid on YouTube. Subscribe and share the channel so we can continue to lift the mind, body, and soul of our people. Um, just a few announcements until we get into this uh, very powerful and well-needed and much-needed uh, interview uh, with our special guests. Um, this Monday uh, coming up, at 6 p.m. August 13th on the corner of uh, King and West Street in New York. Uh, we are going to meet there. The Black Love Movement is going to meet there and we are going to try to uh, move out into the street uh, to reach the local people there to combat bloodshed and violence. So again, that's this Monday, August the 13th at 6 p.m. on the corner of King and West Street. We are going to meet um, there um, at Lincoln Charter School uh, we're asking all the men particularly and the women in the community you're welcome to to meet there so we can combat uh, bloodshed and violence uh, in the community so again that's this Monday 6 p.m. on the corner of King and West Street at Lincoln Charter School please come out um, so now with uh, no further ado um, we have two special guests here um, much anticipated we will let them um, introduce um, their selves. Um, Ms. Weiss. Hello, my name's Mrs. Pearl Weiss. I am the mother of Chad Merrill. Um, I am a former manager of Rudder's Farm Store. And right now I'm just watching my grandchildren. Okay, and we have one more. Uh, one more guest. Make sure you speak into the mic. Uh, can you introduce yourself, young lady? My name, <coughs> my name is Deborah Kaufman. I have um, known Pearl for a long time. Chad was supposed to be her little girl. Of course, he didn't turn out our little girl, but we're mm -hmm. just here to talk. We just need to get this out. This has to stop. Mm -hmm. And you are like the spiritual mother of uh, Chad Merle, right? You could say. I got a lot of those kids. He was just the younger brother of my son's best friend. And I spent a lot of time with him and kind of miss, miss it. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Miss Weiss, could you, um, I know you s said that you used to be the manager there uh, at Rudders. Can you give us a little more uh, backdrop of yourself? Have you always um, uh, lived there in Helm Township? Did you grow up there? Okay. Um, it's a free flowing conversation. This is the hour of power. Mm -hmm. Actually, I uh, was born and raised in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, and I lived there with my adoptive parents. I was adopted. I lived there until about eight, until I was about 19, and then I met Chad's dad, and he got a job down here in York at Glengarry Brick. So mm -hmm. we up and we moved down, and... It was just me and him at first, and we stayed at um, a hotel room for a couple weeks until we were able to find a place to live. So we found this little trailer that was outside of town um, in the Wrightsville area, and that's where we started our life and had our children. We had Richard first. Um, Rich, their dad, had two other children from a previous marriage. Um, they were Bobby and Randy, and they had come and visited and lived with us for a while, and Bobby stayed with us. And through the years, the boys played sports. They all loved sports. They all were close-knit together, everything together. The neighborhood kids, they always hung out at the house. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just our little family. Mm -hmm. It was the neighborhood, the Eastern School District grade, practically. Mm -hmm. Um, for all three of the kids. They had so many friends mm -hmm. growing up in that through school, plus playing all the sports. Mm -hmm. uh, Chad loved basketball. From the time he could hold a basketball in his hand, he would be 
playing. He'd be outside playing. I'd have to yell at him to come in just to eat supper. Mm -hmm. And that was his favorite thing, Michael Jordan and basketball. Mm -hmm. Then we played baseball, and he was good at that too, but basketball was still his thing. And he played um, football. And, and then, basketball was and still his thing. Yeah, <laughs> lots of basketball. <clears throat> Richard, his older brother, was um, six years older than him. Okay, so you had three boys. Yeah, actually, uh -huh. Bobby, I always tell everybody, Bobby was my only child that didn't cause me pain mm -hmm. um, because he was actually my stepson. But I raised him since he was a year old. So mm -hmm. he was he's my son, no matter what anybody says. He's my right. son. But right. he, he was Chad's him. brother. There yeah, was no Chad's step. Chad's brother. But mm -hmm. he didn't, you know, he mm -hmm. caused me no Before pain. Down a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what I keep telling him. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they played their sports. Chad was always happy, go lucky. I mean, he was always a very nice, polite young man. As a child, he was messy. He would, you know, wherever he played with his toys, that's where it laid, and that never stopped. Mm -hmm. He lived with me up until July 20th. Um, and yes, his room was always messy, and I was always mm -hmm. on him cleaning it. But the boy was a hard worker. And uh, what uh, coming up through school, I think we was talking earlier, did the boys go to Central School District? No, they went to Eastern. Eastern, yes. Eastern, okay, yep. so Eastern New High, York, yep. okay, uh huh. And um, uh, how was his um, um, experience? Uh, you know, going going to that school. You said he he played sports. Mm -hmm. Talking about Chad. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, he liked it up until a point. Um, we, um, me and his dad had separated, so there was some issues there. And um, his dad had gotten into a car accident, so he became paralyzed from the waist down. Mm -hmm. So that did a lot of, you know, put a lot on Chad. Because mm -hmm. all this kind of happened at once, and, you know, here he is, and he just feels his life has just been turned upside down. Right. But anytime Chad had issues or problems, and Mama D here told me a long, long time ago with Richard because they would write lyrics. Mm -hmm. and you mean rap lyrics? Yeah. Okay, so Chad was into... Very good. Oh, Very good. Yes. Wow, I didn't know, I didn't know that. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. he, uh, he actually, he liked it and was into it more than I ever knew he was. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, his, I would never let him listen to rap when it first came out. I couldn't mm -hmm. understand what, it, what they were saying, so... Right. But uh -huh. to think that he, he lived for it. But he, mm -hmm. Mama D told me that, you know, she told the boys, write your frustrations down. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one time I read Richard's lyrics, and it's like, oh, my God, you know. I was shocked. She said, no, he's getting his frustration. Mm -hmm. So that's how I had left it, and that's what Chad did. I mm -hmm. sat the last couple of days, and I read through each and every page of his lyrics and mm -hmm. we got notebooks full we're talking probably from the age of 13 up until now mm -hmm. he's been writing and writing mm -hmm. it was hard mm -hmm. but then again I learned a lot I mean his feelings through the divorce the things that you know, when his dad had his accident, how he reacted, what he did, the things that he did that weren't nice or good, you know, drugs. and. Um, but mm -hmm. then in there also, you know, he's explaining how he's fighting it. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't want to be that way. He wants to be good and he wants to get off the drugs. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, rhymes after rhymes, and some of them sound pretty darn good. But, you know, I got an in-depth of my son's heart and mm -hmm. how and what he thought of life. Mm -hmm. Now, the uh, the lyrics that you um, said you came across, you didn't, are you saying that you weren't aware of them? This is your first time seeing them? Or I was, was it certain ones? I was aware that he wrote them, but I right. never read them. Because oh, the okay. time I read Richard's, you know, it was all swear words, killing mm -hmm. this, doing that, da-da-da, you know. 
Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I didn't want to read it anymore. Right. But she mm-hmm. said, this is how they're getting, instead of keeping it bottled in, mm-hmm. and that's what they did. It's like a journal. You know right. what I mean? It's like a journal where they can... Or a diary. They, yeah, mm-hmm. where they can let people know. And it isn't always 100% about them. Mm-hmm. But the 99% that is... I mean, this boy would come in my son's room at the house, and they'd start freestyling. Mm-hmm. He could freestyle like nobody's business. He was good. Mm-hmm. Wordplay was good. And then when I found out from Pearl that he had said my son was his inspiration. Mm-hmm. And it's your son, son is Richard? Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. That's her actual son. He's just not a little mine. Yeah. Right. But mm-hmm. my son looked at me before he told me this, and he says, you know, Chad was my inspiration. Mm-hmm. Well, then let's inspire. Let's start writing again. And mm-hmm. he said, I have a little closet at the bottom of my stairs in my rec room. Little. But he said, Mama D, here's what we ought to do. We can get styrofoam egg cartons and line all the walls, cut a little window out. We can spit in there. We can record. And I'm like, you want mm-hmm. my closet to put mm-hmm. You even know the vernacular and the language. Right. But I'm <laughs> wishing I would have said, hey, go for it. Uh-huh. Instead of making them wait. Uh-huh. <clears throat> There's and actually, they posted on Facebook of him doing one of his songs. One sad wow. thing is he lost his phone. Nobody can find his phone that he yes. had that night. On his phone, I can guarantee there's a whole lot more mm-hmm. that he mm-hmm. had. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah, we haven't. But I it. had a trace. I found it as far as July 23rd, which is three days after Chad was killed, that it was used at the Red Rose. Mm. So somebody has it. It's just yeah. If you wouldn't right. mind turning it back in where it belongs, yeah, that'd be I'd great. I'd love to have it. Right, and um, for for the listening audience, um, our wonderful Queen Alicia, if you can um, uh, put the number up, uh, if anyone wants to call in, but save the call in for at the end, so we can um hear about um our wonderful uh hero and Good Samaritan, as I've been referring to him as. I hope you don't mind, but that's how. I've been referring to him. The call in number seven one seven eight four six five zero six seven. Did did I run that right, um, Alicia? Because I'm not right in front of the phone. So the call in number, save it for the end, is seven one seven eight four six five zero six seven. Um, I had a quick question for you, uh, Miss Miss Wise, and y'all. I'm really enjoying, um, you know, living, uh, keeping his spirit alive. When he was going through school, so his whole time. At school and other young men's time at school is it Eastern? Is that where yes. they went? Did he ever um, come to you or express that um, that he observed uh, racism? Because I guess what, you know, I guess he wouldn't um, a- a directly experience it. But did he say he observed it? Um, there were times because he he had friends, um, mm-hmm. You know, good friends. They come stay at the house that were black. Um, mm-hmm. Kyle, they you, you know they tease him, call him Rican or Mexican. One time they made up this thing in school that said Mexican. You mm-hmm. know, and we had a big thing about that. But mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, our kids weren't raised to pick and choose. Mm-hmm. We are all human. We all bleed the same. Mm-hmm. You know. I was taught to respect people, even mm-hmm. when my parents weren't like that. Mm-hmm. I was taught to respect and show respect, and we're all alike. Mm-hmm. And you grew up again in this in this general in this general area yes. here, uh-huh. well, with the exception of Ewans. Ewans, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. My Pennsylvania Dutch, they uh, tease me about it's it. Mountain, right? So. Um, um, did you have much experience in here in York? Did you ever travel?